Hello everyone, it's Marcia Karadinsa. I'm here with a tutorial video on how to assemble the Scrappy Boy Stamps Baby Doll Dress Shaped Card. My youngest little fairy is joining me today. Do you wanna say hi? Hi. That's my Lily. This is the card that she created. Hers is a much fancier version, dressed up with some of the adorable stamps um, from the Happy Fall Y'all stamp set. Um, she will talk about this after we do the assembly. Okay, do you want to show them your card real quick? You want to talk, tell them about your card first? Yeah? You want to wait? Okay, she's going to wait to talk about her card, but I think her card turned out amazing. So anyways, I'm going to set that to the side. We're going to talk about the die set. Okay, so this is the die set. It includes, and I counted the pieces this time, thankfully there were less. There's 10 pieces in this die set. Let me pull this out of here and I'll set this to the side hopefully it won't create too much of a glare so you can see the name of it up there I'll leave this here maybe that'll help all right so here are the 10 pieces we have an outer piece this is what you can use as the card base I will show them all cut out here in just a second so this is the outermost layer for the card base this is the outline shadow layer, if you will, for um, the assembled dress. This is obviously the dress layer, and I'll show you how we sort of modified ours a little bit, huh, Lily? So that we could um, have a white ruffle at the bottom, but you don't have to do that extra piece, but I'll show you that. We have three pieces for the apron, this layering piece here at the bottom, so you could have the ruffle a stitched piece for the top in case you wanted to use a pattern piece or just to create that extra detail and dimension. And then the belt piece, right Goose? Okay, and then the pieces with the most are the bows. The bows, can you come sit here? It creates one bow with beautiful dimension. Can you show them your bow, Lily? And you can see how cool it is. Gotta bring it right up here. Let's see if we can do it with, there you go. See, so you can see we have the, the base layer, we have a couple layers for the top bow and then the center piece for the bow knot. And those are all four of these pieces. So there's not too many die pieces here, which is nice. And it goes together very quickly. Yep, Lily helped assemble hers. So let me set this off to the side. Oh, I do wanna mention, I wrote this here at the bottom for myself, so I don't have to remeasure. And I'll explain this here, okay? So Lily, would you bring your card? I wanna explain something. And then I'll tell you how I messed mine up and how we're gonna fix it, right? So here's Lily's beautiful card. And to create a folded card base like this, you take this outermost card layer, this piece, you fold your card piece of card in half, and that's why I wrote four and a half inches by five and a half. So this one, you need not an A2 size card base, you need it four and a half inches by five and a half inches top folding. So um, cut your piece of paper, you take your eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, cut it at four and a half inches instead of in half at four and a quarter, cut it the long ways and then fold it in half, right? To make a five and a half inch top folding card base. Then you take your die cut and you lay that piece of paper with the fold line just beneath that cut edge, okay? And then when you do that, it won't cut your fold, and then you end up with a top folding card base, like Lily's. However, mommy, right? Mommy messed up, and I said we're going to leave this in the video so I can explain how you can remedy this if this happens to you as well. She cut the top of it on accident. That's right. I cut the top on accident. I thought I had it layered just underneath the edge, didn't I? When I pulled it out, I said, oh, no. I ended up with two pieces, but not to worry, right? We're gonna fix this. I'm gonna show you how so we don't just waste paper. So to remedy that, I cut a strip of paper that's one inch wide by two and three eighths, well, one inch high by three, two and three eighths inches wide, and you just score it in the middle here so it's at half an inch. Forgive me, I've been doing a lot of yard work, so <laughs> I keep finding dirt underneath my fingernails, huh, Lily? So we scored it in half, and then we're going to glue this at the tippy top here to create a top folding card, right? Oh, so we're gonna do that right now. Okay, I'm gonna add glue here. 
Well, I did. I did think about tucking. Lily's talking about one idea I had where I was going to tuck this behind so you wouldn't see this piece here in the inside, but you can kind of see it from the front when I was holding it up, so I think I'm not going to do that. We can always cut another layering piece for the inside of the card if you're so worried, but I think we'll be fine. And you see, I'm just lining that up right like that. But thank you for reminding me, Lily, because I did suggest that. We were kind of thinking of ideas, weren't we? Okay, so now we're gonna take this piece, gonna lay it right on top. I'm gonna line up our pieces. Look at it from the front, because I don't wanna see any of those. I don't wanna see it wonky. Wonky weirdo, right, Lily? No wonky weirdos. Oh boy, this glue sticks so fast, I wasn't ready. Wonk, wonk. Let's line that up first here. Lily's jamming over here. And then I'll stick it down, that's what we'll do, okay? So now we have a top folding card base with a twist. Dun, dun. That's right, so we just, that's how we remedied this situation. So if you do, if you pull a Marsha, and you think you have it lined up, but you don't. Since if if you don't get the Lily's card and you get the Marsha's card where you cut it, just cut a little strip of paper. Again, this is two and three eighths inches wide by an inch, and I just scored it in half to adhere it there, okay? So crisis averted, right? Crisis averted. All right, so that's that larger card layer, right? So now we're gonna move on to that shadow layer for the card. For Lily's, we chose this beautiful like a like an ivory, warm ivory color, so it would stand apart from the card base. For this one, because we're doing this one is a Christmas one versus Lily, which is a, a, fall. a fall one. And even more importantly, this is a place card for the Thanksgiving table. Well, basically it's fall and it's basically almost Christmas. I know, and Christmas is your favorite season, right? So we'll talk about hers a little bit more, how, we're, how we've decided, and that's why she wrote her name on it. Okay, so for this one, I just cut that shadow dress layer from white, and we're just gonna layer that on top. So I'm just gonna glue that down. My glue's running low, isn't it, Goose? And it's like, keeps bubbling out, which yeah. is not so much But fun. actually, we're gonna use this like very cool pen that mm -hmm. I use to do this. Yeah. To use to do the gold. Oh, to this, write the name? And mm -hmm. we're going to write Marsha, Ovi, and Amalia. Mm -hmm. Now I call Mar Mama Marsha, and now I call <laughs> Dayo Ovi. Yeah, he's not fond of that, is he? <laughs> All right, and so he says, it's rude, but I do not care. Oh, that's not good. But why is it rude? Well, because he prefers you to call him daddy -o. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's go ahead and we'll assemble the apron. So for Lily's card, we chose white on white with a white strap. For the Christmas one, we are gonna we chose a white back layer for the ruffle, and I know it's kind of hard to see here. There is a ruffle um, embossed detail there. We're gonna use this cookie background. And we're gonna use the cookie background. And we decided to keep white for the belted layer. But so, now I'm thinking of the belt layer. I'm thinking of coloring it gold, but, you now, I'm, but now I'm thinking of, that might bleed through. No, it won't. Well, you oh, wouldn't really? see it. If it bleeds through, it'll just, you wouldn't even see it. So I'm gonna glue the, the stitched belt part on first and it'll make it easier to line this up at the top. And that's just what I've noticed assembling this. So now we're gonna glue this piece on. And the paper I'm using is from Scrappy Boy Stance. Scrappy Boy Stance, of course, the Merry and Bright paper pack. I love this paper pack. Very traditional Christmas colors. It is fabulous. That was from last year's Christmas release. Okay, so I'm just gonna Stick this down on there. So there's our apron fully assembled. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Okay, so now we are going to work on the top dress layer. And as you see, we have all these really cool embossed details here. We're gonna utilize that. So there's a lot of ways you can modify this. You could cut this from a single pattern and then use these embossed lines here to create additional um, layers, if you will. Oh, Lily, I love that. See, she used her pen and decided to color in her belt. That's a great idea. And you can barely see the other, you can barely see the pumpkin background. Well, I know, but it's still there and it's pretty. Yep. So we're gonna Way use these embossed because lines. Yours, because Marsha's gonna be plain. Mine yeah, mine better. is plain, hers is better. I agree, mm -hmm. it is better. So we're gonna use this embossed line 
to have a white ruffle, right, to our skirt instead of leaving it plain. You could definitely leave it plain. It looks great, but we want to kind of up, up it a little bit, jazz it up a little bit. So utilizing that, it's very hard to see. There, you can see it better there. There's actually gonna, little ruffles right you there. You can see the ruffle. We're going to try to you very carefully. You can see the, the worst little cutting in the world right there. Well, that's just because I I just threw a scrap of white paper oh. under that dress because I knew we were we only wanted to cut the white for the ruffle. thought I know. Yeah. Oh, gosh. This is where I lose it. It's hard to see. There we go. This goes in my garbage bag. And now we can glue our white ruffle onto the pattern dress skirt. And it just kind of dresses it up a little bit more. Obviously optional, but I wanted to show this because I think it's really pretty. In the words of Lily, we're jazzing it up a bit. Okay. And I will go ahead and glue this down. I like the back paper too. Yeah. It's a really pretty well, green. I can't use that. You could have made a, like a Christmas tree one with a pumpkin area. Oh, you do that? well, maybe we will. Maybe we'll make another one. For mo Wait, we can. I can make, do the babaling one, and I can mm -hmm. do all of these. That's right. So for the top, we chose the candy cane stripe. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cut some of this off so it's not overlapping too greatly once we put our apron on. Hey, guys, do you know that she actually used this really cool puffy stuff mm -hmm. her scissors that she uses for you can barely cut it i know i need to de-stickify my um just wash it off scissors. for a bajillion of hours yeah I like use, when i wash my pink palette i use an alcohol prep to wash my sticky scissors and i use or just alcohol and i use soap and water yeah okay just so now we're water. gonna glue the top blouse on again i partially i just threw a piece of the pattern paper you know, I just kind of layered it here and then just, we're gonna paper piece them. Again, you could use one one solid pattern if you want it. I'm just showing you that there are ways that you can jazz it up. Okay, okay so now, now that looks way better with that and that. You like that? But what if yeah. you just matched it up and that you looks could. so, I will not like that. I'll you wouldn't, like, I, I, I think would it just, would look pretty like that too. I would just like, um, I will like it if you'll like it. I would just like it with a different one on top mm -hmm. and a different one on the bottom. I yeah, would do that. You like that? <laughs> And see, now we have these embossed lines here, as you see, for the Ooh, placement yeah, yeah. of the apron. Oh, gosh, it's hard to see. kind of see it there. This. What's that, Lily? Oh, I'm not going to use that right now. Why not? I'm only using the pieces from the die set. Yeah, <laughs> well, okay. I would. You can. Okay, so here That's we go. We're going to adhere one. this. Let me see if Ooh, I can. La, la, I can do I'm going to pick it up to I slide it around. This. Look what I did. I just okay. spin it around. So there is the apron on. I yep. spin that around. <laughs> okay, so that's our card so far, and as you can see, it stands really greatly, which is why we're using it as a place card at the table. Yep. Okay, but all these layers of paper on the front can make it he heavy, so one thing I could recommend is adding um, another layer of heavy cardstock or white cardstock to the back um, to kind of balance it out better, but see, it stands great, so that's why we're making place cards for the table, and that's Without why she wrote her name this. on it. So, I did create this piece that you could use if you wanted to fill this as like a treat holder. So using the same principle of the card or the placeholder in this sense, because it stands up it. nicely, Way she nice chose not to use it. I cut a square of paper three inches by three inches, and then I scored it one-sided half an inch, one and a half inches, and two and a half inches, and folded it like an M. Or in this case, we're going to glue it this way, so like a W, but it, you know, either way. <laughs> and then what you would do to create the treat holder, or if you wanted to add more support to your place card, you didn't want it to kind of fall apart, you just take this little W piece and glue it like this. I just wanted to show that option. See, like this? And you could do this for a treat holder option too. We glue this in here, it would give it a little bit more stability and support. And then you could put your treat bag or goodie in here and use score tape to hold the bag in place. And that would be really cute to add a treat at the table, right? So you could do after dinner mints, some Andy's mints, or just pass these out as treats again for Christmas. So I just wanted to share that often as that option as well. I'm not gonna glue this down just yet. You can decorate that as well. So you can see how that would work. Like actually you can decorate that as you as you want, but actually um uh 
if you would like it as like if you wanted it to be hollow if if you didn't like the fall or or the christmas or if you didn't if you made all of them of the whole season mm -hmm. of the whole months years um mm -hmm. if you made those all if you still didn't like it how about you just made one plain one you could you could just make a plain one just like solid colors or something pink you like pink It'd yeah, be great for, like, a little girl's birthday. And Marsha made a blue one and pink one, I think. Did I? I think you I made a black blue. and white one. I sent it to Mr. Sean. And it was, like, a Halloween kind of inspired one. Ooh la la. Okay, so we're going to finish this up so we can wrap this video up. So the last pieces are those four pieces for the bow. Those go together to create a really cool layered effect. You are. You're going to talk about your card. You will. I but we gotta finish I this one. You said it. I did. I so you forgot. I didn't oh. forget. Shh. Hey, I gotta finish this. I gotta finish this. <laughs> so one thing I thought to do, we we had a little bit of a darker red and a lighter red. So I thought it'd be fun to play with um, the differences there so that you could see a little bit more depth and detail for the bow because it's got all those beautiful layers. But I went ahead and cut all four from the dark red in case it didn't look right. <laughs> so let's layer it up. So the two top layers for the lighter color would be this funny looking piece here and the center of the knot. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna build it. I'm gonna move these to the side, assuming we're gonna have the darker layers and then the lighter top layers again to create that um, more dimension. So we're gonna take this bottom layer, I'm just gonna glue it on this because I found that easier. It points down, if that helps you when you're putting it together, it helps me. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the lighter layers. Again, this is the lower spot. I'm gonna add that here and see if that, I think that'll look pretty, having the different colors like that. And then we're gonna glue on the little center knot piece. Wait, is this how you say your full name? Marsha Cutting to Karen? You say the middle name in the middle. Oh, uh. Marsha Karen. So that will be our bow. I think we'll keep it like this. But I do like using all the one color, so I'm I might not do this again. But that's in case you do to you do decide to try something like this. Okay, and I just bent, I just hold the center knot, kind of roll the bow out a bit there, and kind of do the same for the um the ribbon tails. What do you call these things? The tails, we're gonna call it the tails. And then we could put it either here in the center, here on the dress. I think I like it there. We could put it over here on the apron. There's probably numerous places you could decide to stick it. I thought about die cutting a solid print from the, um, the card base layer to put on the back, especially if you're gonna use it as a treat favor, if you want to dress up the back, or you could just leave it plain so you could write your sentiment or something there. We're gonna just glue this right now. Hey everyone, sorry about that. My phone ran out of storage. So I had to delete things <laughs> off my phone to make room for this. Um, but just to show you what missed, what you missed, I just glued the bow here. I was just sharing that you could probably glue it in any number of places on the card. But this is the completed um, dress card. Let me see, because I don't wanna mess up the name of it again. So this is the completed baby doll dress shaped card. And as you see, I made a Christmas themed one using the Merry and Bright paper pack. And Lily, do you have yours or did you leave it on the table? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. You can show them yours again. Come right here in the middle. Um, uh, this is mine. And I layered a lot of stuff. You could see that. There's a little standing up corn right there. Do you, can you see? You can see it barely showing. Mm -hmm. But it still looks right really here. pretty. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I love how she did hers. She We did two I different used, patterns of paper from I used, the... I used this one. The fall leaves paper pack. I used this one, but I used the back of... I so used, right up here. I used I'm just moving one. you here, Lily, so they can see I what you're playing I used this one, mm -hmm. and I used... This one, oh, right this, up here, no, right? This one, oh, that one, one that one. Mm -hmm. This one, and I used... A lot of these. I use I use this, 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 this. So many things. Um, Here's your little scarecrow. I use this bucket right here. I mm -hmm. use this guy. He's adorable. He is adorable. I used uh, I use her. Mm -hmm. So I you just want to show them so we can finish up. 
And you wrote your name on it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to stand it up. But actually, I was thinking of my brain when Mama was right doing the video. You can actually just write, Happy November mm -hmm. from Daddy or Marsha. Yeah, you could. Oh, yep. So there we go. So we've got two examples. We have a Thanksgiving place card holder. This one's exciting. That one's boring. Right. So we're showing you two examples. Two. This one's just using the die cuts, which still makes a very pretty card or treat holder because remember this, i showed you that accordion piece it's a really pretty one but no decorations or anything yeah but just using the dies and paper but i thought marshall was going to use this little guy i know they can't i messed see up that guy but i don't like it i think he's precious I so i will use him for something and then this one is, is using what? the dress die with the pattern paper yeah. embellished with several of the stamps and guess what Anyways. we're gonna and hip hip hooray we're gonna make more today that's Not. right, and that rhymed. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. and um, With your child. The video game controller die tutorial assembly video will be coming soon. Anyways, take care, guys. Bye. Bye.